Get back onto that. So in the, let's imagine that Brexit wins and the Gove Johnson sweeps away regulations as they want to, the, uh, whichever one of them is Prime Minister. Um, what would labour market regulations, Jonathan, do you think be a significant part of the regulations that they want to see, see swept away? Is Britain a particularly heavily regulated labour market? What? No, of course not. Uh, um, on any uh, um, of the international indices of labour market regulation, uh, uh, um, uh, Britain comes uh, uh, pretty low or high, depending which way where you look at it. Um, we have a pretty, as, as uh, Alan said, we have a very flexible labour market. And the fact that we have relatively low unemployment and, and very high job churn um, is an indicator of that. Um, the Leave campaign have failed, so as far as I know, to identify a single labour market regulation uh, that they'd actually like to get rid of. Um, and I think that's significant because the, the occasions when they haven't done that have been when they've been put on the spot in... Um, by public audiences in question time tile debates. And then they say, oh, no, no, of course, we don't want to reduce any projections for working people, which shows that they know that, or they perceive it to be politically toxic to suggest that actually they would abolish even uh, the things which uh, the UK was unhappy about at the time, like the working time directive or the maternity rights directive. And there might be a little bit of tinkering around the edges conceivably, but any sort of significant overhaul of labour market regulation, I think, is pretty unlikely. And uh, do you agree with that? Oh, no, I'm slightly more cynical, actually. <laughs> um, I mean, one, I think it's sure they haven't said, hmm. but it doesn't mean to say they haven't thought about it. And secondly, imagine the following uh, scenario. Uh, we have Brexit. You know, we have this slump we've all agreed about. Unemployment goes up. Uh, the public sector deficit becomes worse and worse, so we have more austerity. What, uh, what is a right-wing government going to suggest we should do? It's going to say we have to make the labour market work even better. And you know what? We'll have to move some of those regulations so you'll work harder. So I certainly can imagine a scenario where it does start to come undone after a year or 18 months. And, Geoffrey, you're obviously an opponent of EU regulation. Is it, is it labour market regulation that you don't like, or is it... What, what other sorts of regulation are you particularly concerned well, about? Well, um, the Working Time Directive is second only to the Renewable Energy Directive in terms of its costs on uh, British business uh, and our economy. It's calculated that the Working Time Directive costs £4.3 billion. Pounds. Wrong. Well, that, that, was, <laughs> that, is, that, that is the... That was who, the who calculated that it? That was the ex-ante impact assessment of what it would cost the, by the government. Subsequently, there's been an ex post impact assessment of what it actually has cost, and essentially there's no identifiable cost. This is exactly the same as what happened with the minimum wage when um, ex ante a number of economists said, oh, it'll all be a disaster, it'll all be terrible. Um, it made some back of the envelope calculations, which turned out in practice to be complete fiction. Uh, we have an ex post evaluation. We know that the working time directive, it may have caused some minor problems in some areas, but essentially in macroeconomic terms, the cost of the working time directive has been essentially zero. We know that. Isn't that and that so? Sorry? Yes, because, 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 we've, got because we've got up there. Mm. Yes. And do, you, do you agree with that as a labour economist, Alan? Uh, I, it, it, I, it's not a study that I know, but yes, it seems to be quite plausible that that is the case. Um, I mean, the, the sort of flick, you know, the, the labor, the, the, the working time directive is not terribly constraining. Right. Um, I want to open it up for so questions. So, so much for the experts, and that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, well, the experts have adjusted their view, I suppose. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. yes, but, but that's the really, rational approach to science. Well, you know, right. but it does con confound common sense, doesn't it? If you think that all these regulations, which business complains about so much, actually are having no economic impact. But, I mean, I, I've had to look at this. The, the World Bank survey on the ease of doing business, for example, ranks us sixth in the world, one behind Hong Kong and one ahead of the US. So, and if you look at international surveys of ease of doing business, Britain comes very high, much yeah. higher than all sorts of countries. So it's, uh, the Express did a whole list of um, the worst regulations of the EU, and I think the top was the rule against excess packaging, and the second was some rule against um, maltreatment of animals in transport. And I, I don't know, most I mean, British there, there people are, will probably you, you worry about that. Whole lot of, you know, there, there, there are, protection and all there are costly EU regulations, yes. but I don't know a single economist who doesn't think that the 
the damage to the UK economy coming from domestically imposed regulations, yes. particularly planning and housing, yes, isn't planning, greater yes, than that by a factor of 10 or 100. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm agreeing with Jeffrey here, as, yeah. as you said, on immigration. A lot, you know, things that we claim are Brussels problems mm -hmm. are often our own fault. Mm -hmm. Well, and let's, there's a, sorry, go on. on. So-called gold plating. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 Yeah. Oh, very good at regulation. Yeah. Yeah. It's where British civil servants put a whole lot of new uh, rules and everything that add to uh, regulations coming out of Brussels. So that's something. Yeah.